Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Simbler Wash Builds. Today we're going to look at a uh, 3D printed cyclone for a vacuum cleaner. Basically it's going to separate all the dust and trash out of your cleaning vacuum. Let's get started. Alright guys, so here's the cyclone that I'm talking about. Um, basically this is a dust separator system that will prevent any kind of trash from getting into your vacuum. Your shop vac filters will last much longer and it's a lot easier to clean this thing than it is to clean out a shop vac. So what I'd like to do today is show you the printed piece but also do a demonstration on the amount of dust and trash that actually gets separated when you're vacuuming up. It's 99% of the trash will get separated so your vacuum will last much longer and it's a lot less work to clean it. Okay guys so this is the 3D model that uh, basically acts and creates a cyclone inside of this cone and forces all the trash down into the bucket. This design is very similar to a product you can purchase called the um, Dust Deputy, which is about $100 to $120, depending on what you buy. Uh, the beauty of this one is, it's a very simple design, but it works really great. And the cap on top is easily removed, so you can see inside of it uh, to see if any trash is in there or if anything's hung up. Um, the 3D model will be available on Thingiverse. I will upload it to Thingiverse so that everybody can access it. Um, it has a, this is the suction input, so this is the hose that actually goes to your vacuum. This is the hose that you would actually use to, uh, you know, get up the trash. So let's take a look at the, the way that the, the device connects to the bucket for collection. Okay guys, so just to give you an idea of the entirety of the, uh, the device that I've built, there's a bucket that's mounted below the cyclone. Um, this is where all the trash is collected my shop back sits below the bucket and sits on a rolling cart that I've built. So all in all, it's a, it's a fairly large uh, device, but it makes cleaning so much easier and it will make your shop back last much, much longer. So um, if I open up the lid here, you'll basically just lift this up. And the way that I have the board built is it's two layers of plywood with a hole in the center where the cyclone actually is and then inside you'll see that there is dust and trash collected and um, we'll actually pull this pour this out on the ground and and then just vacuum it back up so you can see that this thing actually does collect all of that and i'll show you what's actually in the vacuum at that point but it's very little <clears throat> okay guys so i'm gonna take the bucket out now and dump the trash that's currently in it onto the floor so that we can suck it up and see how much of this stuff this thing actually picks up, which is gonna be every last bit of it. I'm fairly confident in this thing. All right, guys, we're gonna turn this thing on and, and vacuum this trash up. Okay guys, um, we vacuumed up the trash, so we're gonna take the bucket off the system and look at it and see how much of it we collected. And then I'll also pull the vac vacuum up and we'll open it up to see if any of it got in there. So let's go ahead and take this thing off. Lift up the bucket. Let me, uh, let me move the camera so you guys can see what's in it. Okay guys, so as you can see, the bucket has a lot of trash in it. Um, I'd say that that is the majority, if not all, of the trash that was in on the ground. Um, looking at, this is the shop vac, I pulled it off as well. Pulled it off the machine. Um, the shop vac is, well, as you can see, almost completely empty. There's like some fine, fine dust in there, but that's sort of to be expected. But as far as trash, it's it's pretty much clean. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's it for today. Um, again, like, share, subscribe if you like what you saw. Um, the file will be made available via Thingiverse for printing. I'll have it in the comments below. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day.